Hey, I'm at the um, IRC and um, I'm here to take a shower because unfortunately I don't have a place to go to right now. And I'm trying to get it an intake inside of the shelter and I have another meeting, an appointment with one of the staff members today. Um, I have everything that I need. You know, there's a lot of churches and stuff that give us stuff like toiletry items, socks and toothbrushes and toothpaste and soap. And this is it, my bag, I keep it. And so whenever I get ready to go take my shower, I put everything back in here and I keep it moving. Um, this is the IRC. They have showers where you can take it for free. So there's no reason why anybody should not be taking a shower. There's a timer on here to, res to respect everybody else's time. And they can give you like five minutes and it counts down. And at the last second, it counts down 59 seconds. And this is not a bad shower. They just built this, like, rebuilt this stuff already. So it's not really that bad. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to take me a shower. And I'm going to head over to my appointment. And hopefully I can get me a bed. Because I don't like sleeping outside. And it's cold. And it's a cold weather night tonight. And I don't want to do that. At all. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I get to take a shower, yay. Um, it has racks and stuff here that you can put everything on. That's the chair that's in here. I changed out of my clothes. They gave us socks, um, hand warmers. You see the toothbrush. Um, toothpaste, some fresh pair of socks, they have some warm gloves in here, and the soap and stuff like that, I already have, like fragrance sprays and stuff like that, I have those already. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I have literally five minutes in the shower so i have to like hurry up and take it because someone else might be trying to get in the shower too um, Take this freaking scarf off. I have a whole bunch of jackets on because it's cold. I'm th I was thinking about going to New York just to visit. Yeah. But I'm getting everybody that's saying that they want to leave New York when it's in a in like during the winter time. They don't live really like that. <laughs> but thank God I can come here and take a shower. The YMCA um, in Chapel Hill allows you to take your shower there if you have like a card and something like that. But that's about it. If I, if I stay here tonight, I won't be able to take me a shower. Yeah, right. Fuck this shit. That bitch says, you can't take no job you can't be in the bathroom that long. Turn it up. Hell, all that on flag. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sticking shoes off. Go back to bamboo. Okay. Yeah. You know, go back to bamboo. I got this shirt on. I got the other shirt on that I did my YouTube video in. <laughs> and, and, and smoke a slip like Bob Marley did. But it's not that many people. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The place that I'm taking my shower at is called the IRC, and they allow you to um, come here throughout the day and you know get on the computers for like job search and. They like to you. They sometimes they have like meals here that they serve. Um, residents from different shelters and other organizations come here because it's an interactive resource center. So they allow everyone to come here throughout the day. Looking at, I probably need to shave, huh? And that's pretty much it. Um, but no, they let you. They let you get on the computer. They let you um, do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but normally people just come in, sit down, charge the phone, go to sleep with the head down on the desk, or go outside on the patio. And and if you need you, you don't have a mailbox and you want your mail to come here, they will allow you to have your mail sent here. Also, um, I think you need to have your name on a list. They have a nurse, a nursery here, so where you can go see the nurse to get medicine and stuff like that. And it's something else that they allow that over here. Um, they had this program to where they'll let people, residents get, um, residents from other shelters or people in the community get bicycles to help them get around. And they had so many bicycles, but you had to sign your name on the list. And now it's like, I don't hear anything about it anymore. And last time they let us, like I signed my name on the list, but I didn't get any contact, but I kept touching bases with them. And it's like, people were telling me that they had the bicycles stored in the freaking warehouse part and they were just sitting there okay so what are you gonna do with them you know what i'm saying like are you gonna give them to somebody who's really transitioning or are you just gonna let it just sit there so i had a problem with that i really did i mean unfortunately i ended up getting me one but i was trying to do the right thing by using my resources and see what i could get from the community because that's what it's for and then when you got somebody that know how to work the system, it's like they don't even know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. But anyways, thank God for other churches and other ways to get by. Because this place is not the only way to get resources. It's a whole bunch of other places in Greensboro. You just got to like walk around. And there's other places out here too that help you also. Um, I'm so glad I could take me a shower. But I'll see you guys um, when I get back out. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Might let you stay a little while. No, I gotta go. Peace.